<laughs> hey y'all, it's Brandon. So I'm in the shop again today. And I never really meant for this channel to be a repair channel or a mechanic channel. I just want to build cool stuff and go use it. And it seems like I'm having a hard time going and using it. But when you own junk, you have to work on junk. So let's go back a little bit. So when I first did the solid axle swap, I had to tighten the steering box because there's a little too much play in the steering box on my original one. If you remember a few videos back, I swapped out to a junkyard box that's in it now and I never really, never really thought about it. I just got used to driving it the way it was. I just drive it. My wife had to drive it the other day and she said she thought she was gonna die the whole time she was driving it. So I checked the tie rod ends, they were tight. I checked the track bar, the drag link on the front. All that was tight, nothing's bent. So the next thing I'm gonna look at is the steering box. I'm gonna show you how to tighten the flop up that's in the steering box, the slack. So there's a, a worm gear and then another gear here and it it just does some funky stuff and a lot of times when you change like do the solid axle swap it magnifies that dead space in the steering with the independent front suspension you never really noticed it um, but when you do swap to the solid axle it, it kind of magnifies that dead space in the steering I'm gonna show you how I fix that it's probably not the right way but it's the way I'm gonna fix it. So hang out with me and we'll uh, get it done today. All right, so pretty much smack dab in the middle of the screen, you'll see the steering box. On top of that steering box, there is a nut and in the nut, there is an adjuster that has a hole in it. That hole is for a 3 16 Allen and the nut is a 5 8 wrench. So this steering box has no adjuster on the input shaft. Some of the Saginaw boxes have an adjuster here on the input shaft and you knock that loose and you tighten that nut up to 30 inch pounds and then back it off one half of an inch in a turn. It's kind of weird. You just have to watch other videos on that and tighten it back up before you adjust this one. This box only has this adjuster, so I'm going to adjust it that way. First off, I'm going to take some WD-40 and squirt on this, make sure it's loose. It's a pretty clean box, um, and I'm pretty sure I hosed it all down with WD-40 to clean it whenever I took the box out, but I'm going to do it again. Over me whenever. Oh, come on now. There we go. That way it'll make a mess and dribble all over me whenever I uh, climb underneath the vehicle. Try, try not to turn the adjuster when you turn the button. All right, so one thing you wanna to try to avoid is turning that adjuster whenever you break the nut loose. Um, I think I got it just about back the way it was. So to tighten this steering box, you turn the adjuster clockwise. 
one eighth of a turn at a time. Some people do a quarter. Um, if you go too far, you're gonna bind that worm gear up and it's not gonna steer very well at all. So I'm gonna adjust this. Just a little bit there. I'm gonna tighten that nut up and take it for a drive. Turn in just a minute. Now that this thing is nice and steamy, I'll reach down there and adjust it a little bit more. It had a little drag in it. To me, it felt a little worse than what it did. So I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit more and see if see if that fixes what I feel, or if I can back it off what I adjusted it and plus a little more to make it do what it needs to do. So this is just a trial and error. There's really no uh, science to it. You just kind of Adjust it, grab it, adjust it, grab it until you uh, until you feel like it drives the way it should. I guess I better put my seatbelt on for the YouTubes. I hope you can tell I never use this thing. It don't want to work. All right, we're gonna buzz down the road and see how much dead play or dead space is in the steering wheel. I can already tell it's tighter. Maybe next time Mama drives it, she won't feel like she's gonna die the whole time. Alright, 
kind of hard to verify that I've done anything on video with the steering. So I went from probably an inch and a half to two inches of dead play in the steering now to less than an inch. It drives a lot straighter down the road. You're not fighting the no sway bar in one way and then you'd correct and over correct and it just fight back and forth. Don't do that anymore. Um, I kind of understand why she was uh, scared to drive it, but it's fixed now. Appreciate y'all watching. Thank you. I wanted you to get stuck. I didn't want to go right in the middle.